I'm so excited to show you this tutorial today. I am working with my client, Metali. She has, as you can see, a little bit of frizz and we are gonna totally create smooth frizz-free hair for her today using my favorite smoothing product ever, Brazilian Blowout. If you guys haven't heard of this and don't really know what it is, it's basically a much more manageable version of keratin or Japanese straightening. It doesn't actually rearrange the bonds in the hair and change the hair structure. It just creates a protein bond over the hair strand and then as you put heat on it, it seals that in and it'll last for about four months if you use the right products to maintain it. So right now what we're doing is we are applying the Brazilian Blowout Treatment. What you wanna do is use the brush that they actually give you. And why you wanna use that brush is because it has these really dense bristles and it helps grab the product and also distribute it really evenly onto the hair. And you'll be surprised how little of this product you actually need to use for somebody with this length of hair. It really does spread and you do not wanna oversaturate because when you do blow it out, you're gonna create a lot of steam and smoke and it's really gonna irritate, number one, your eyes and throat and also your client's eyes and throat. So you don't wanna oversaturate the product. I promise if you take thin enough sections and go enough over the hair with a flat iron, this product will do way more with little and you'll get your money's worth. So here we're just applying horizontal sections all the way up. I really make sure to brush the front in a lot, especially those little baby hairs and at the root, because that's where she said she has most of her wave and curl. So really make sure if you are running low on the product by this point that you just put a little bit more in and make sure you really saturate those areas. Because for most people, that's gonna be the most difficult area for them to style and smooth. Okay, and as soon as you're done, it literally takes about 20 minutes. It really shouldn't take any longer. Don't be afraid to move quickly when you're doing that part. The rest, you can be a little bit more meticulous. And now what we're gonna do is take the Brazilian Blowout Brush. It has this really large bristle brush that I've actually been using every day to blow dry my clients with now. Um, I always heard about four bristles and how amazing they are, but they really are the best brushes to use especially for this type of treatment and grabbing the hair and smoothing it out like this is just the best. So grab your blow dryer and just start blowing it out all over. Doesn't have to be perfect and smooth, just get it dry. And you wanna use medium or cool heat. You don't wanna use hot heat because it will literally burn off the product and that just doesn't make any sense if we're applying it and it's literally being burned off. So make sure you're using medium heat now we're gonna take the flat iron and I put it up to 420 degrees. It really depends on how their client's hair is and if the hair can take that type of heat. I wouldn't go over 380 on somebody who has bleach blonde hair or highlights. You wanna be really, really careful. But somebody like Mitali who has pretty natural healthy hair and it really has like a thick texture to it, she can handle the heat and I'm gonna go over each section about 10 to 12 times and I'm gonna really make sure I go completely from root to end. And also the smaller the section you make, the more this product is gonna work for you. So make sure if there's somebody who has very, very curly wavy hair, you're really taking those thin fine sections. It does take a little longer, but I promise at the end of it, it will be worth it. Their Brazilian blowout is gonna last so much more if you really take those thin, meticulous sections. Metali still wanted a little bit of her curl and also more volume. So if you can see, I'm kind of taking thicker sections and every time I kind of pull the flat iron up to give her a little more volume at the root. So that's why I'm doing that here. I'm also taking those baby hairs in the front and really running the flat iron over them and making sure they get nice and hot because those are the most stubborn areas. You really wanna make sure you get those little baby hairs as much as you possibly can. And again, take your comb. I like to follow it behind my flat iron and make sure that it has that type of path to follow and that's the best way I find to completely smooth the hairs by putting the comb first and then the flat iron. Now, before you do anything, do not shampoo. I have done this before, it is so annoying. You just go into your normal hairdresser routine and you start shampooing. 
you do not want to do that, make sure you do the deep conditioner and let it sit for 10 minutes. It'll literally work magic on their hair. Now I just took her back to the chair. We're blowing her out just as usual and she's going to see and feel how much smoother and softer her hair texture is. I mean, this is like my favorite smoothing treatment I've ever used and I've used them all and it doesn't make you cough or your throat hurt. It's really healthy for the hair, tons of amino acids and people can put their hair on a ponytail as soon as they leave, style it. It's totally fine and make sure they use sulfate free shampoo and they also wait 20, 48 hours before they rinse or shampoo this out. But absolutely make sure they use sulfate free because if they don't, they're literally mixing the product down the drain and that's not, not worth it at all. So I hope you guys got to learn a lot about this beautiful product. If you don't have it in your salon yet, definitely give it a chance. It is amazing how many people can benefit from this. Even if they don't have super wavy hair, just a little bit of frizz, this is perfect for them. So I really hope you guys give it a chance and let me know if you have any questions. I'm always here to help. So comment below or also write me on Instagram. I'm always on there and I'm always answering everybody's questions. And I will see you guys on my next tutorial. Talk soon. Bye.